welcome back to my youtube channel um this video is going to be like a life update we have concluded the first half of the year and i feel like i should talk about what my own first half of the year has been like i felt like i needed to do this because i needed something that i could you know look back to in the near future so i can see how much that i have grown i don't know about you but my own first half of the year has been like it has been filled with really sad emotions i'm not going to say it has been a roller coaster because at least a roller coaster has highs and lows my own has been straight up lows because how do i start this <sighs> talking about your emotions actually really hard april i lost somebody very important to me i lost my dad i was depressed and sad unmotivated and then to top it all i was not even at home at the time it happened i was at my auntie's place because i was looking for a job i was very drained if there was anything more than a zero for mental health that was where my mental health was as at that time i also had like people that didn't expect anything from me because they understood and they were supportive which i'm really grateful for. even if even though i had that support then i was still finding it really really hard to cope with a lot of things i resorted to habits and all of that to cope with the loss i was finding hard accepting the loss see it was a very sad time and that was just april i was finding hard wrapping my head around everything because it felt like everything was happening at a really fast pace like life was moving on without me one of the darkest realizations in life is when you realize that even though you are going through something even though you're going through hell even though you're depressed everything is still going to move on without you people are still going to live their life the world is not going to stop because you are grieving the world is not going to stop because you're depressed people are not even aware okay maybe the people close to you are aware of what happened to you but the world is not aware meaning that the world is going to move on with or without you and that was something that I realized in that particular time. And that was how I started picking up myself again. Because at the point, I was looking for ways to handle the loss. I had to, you know, read stories about people that have lost people dear to them. Watch videos on people that have lost loved ones. So I could see how they coped with it because I could not deal. But then I realized that grief is actually different for everybody and what works for this person might not work for you you just have to find your own pace and go at it eventually i found my own pace i was not forcing myself to get over the loss i was learning to grieve and i was learning to you know go through with the pain the sadness i was learning to feel them because that was the only way that i would feel better or at least feel at ease i don't want to get emotional on this video <laughs> moving on in june yeah in june my graduation was fixed my school graduation if you've not watched my graduation vlog i'm going to link it somewhere on the screen so you can just watch okay this is the gist i did not really have plans of going or attending my induction because I, I felt very sad that my dad you know would not be there to see me graduate it messed with my motivation it messed with my happiness in general but i had my mom i had friends i had people that i really care about that told me that i needed to go to it because that was something that he would have been very happy to see and that was something he would have been very happy to witness and i thought about this and they were right so eventually i attended my induction it was a happy experience but it still felt like something was missing because my dad was not there. You know that in a Nigerian home, in an African family, not just an African family, in the world in general, when you are done with school, the next thing people expect, the next thing people expect from you is work. Like literally, once you're done with school, the next thing everybody's looking forward to is when are you starting work? When are you going to start doing this one? When are you going to start in general? And even you, like for myself, I had expectations of myself. So yes, I was struggling with things. I was struggling with loss. I was struggling with job. I was struggling with expectations. See, in my head, if I tell you what goes on in my head every second of the day, I want to talk about work and all of that. I also think about the fact that we are in Nigeria where there are limited opportunities. There are a lot of graduates being sent into the society every year. 
and there is not even enough job to accommodate all of those people graduating every year and now i am part of <laughs> those people finishing university is one thing but then when you now graduate and know that you are now a full graduate and you now know that like responsibilities are sad dudes on your shoulder and these are things that you have to do you realize that this world a eh? <laughs> when we were little so we we'll always talk about i can't wait to grow up and finish school so i can get a job i can buy my house i can buy my car <laughs> and all of that see those were really good times those were really good times because looking back at them right now there were times that i was very oblivious of what the future looked like so i was very very happy in my delusion before coming of age happened adulting happened and now i have to dance to the tune of the music being in nigeria where there are limited opportunities you just know that you're going to have to fight tooth and nail to get a job you just know that you are going to hustle you just unless you're lucky of course so if you're a firstborn child you know that um you are saddled with responsibilities right from birth because right from when we are little we are we were inaugurated into this room we were taught about how to take care of the younger ones how to take care of our siblings don't just happen we grew up with that particular responsibility right from when we were little so now when you're grown all you think about is still taking care of your younger ones because if you don't do it who will do it for you so you become some sort of provider um when your parents are not around and so i also happen to be the firstborn child of my parents meaning that i am also saddled with this responsibility and this role of we already know so <laughs> yes so that's the reason why i'm doing this video and that's so that i can come back to this video and be like yay i made it aside from that i studied a medical course in university meaning that i have to do a one-year internship before i can fully practice in my profession so that's another wahala also and you know i have been a lot of, i've been doing a lot of internship applications and all of that and i hope that one clicks soon so like i can get this life thing started because one thing about life is that because you are trying to do something there's something that is going to wait for you to get that thing done i'm also going to add how social media also adds to mental strewing because you are going through a lot you are trying to find your stand in life and then you go on the internet and you see people your own age you see people within your own age group doing well for themselves and then you're like see some people see it as a motivation to do better but me sometimes i don't really know what to see it as sometimes it challenges me to do better but then sometimes it makes me question what I'm doing with my life, do you get? At least some kind of comparison. And irrespective of the fact that I am happy for whoever is winning because I love to see people win, it also makes me question what I am doing. I'm not doing enough, it makes me feel less and all of that. I know that that's something that I need to do with. Navigating life is not easy. Like being a young adult moving into adulthood this part is still very new to me but i hope that soon i get to learn how to navigate through it really that's what everybody looks forward to we hope that one day we'd find what our own role in this life is and we are able to play it really well sometimes i exhibit imposter syndrome i feel like i might think that i am all that but i am not all that especially when i'm faced with assignment and tasks i start to feel like i am not enough i am not up to that task so if you are dealing with imposter syndrome and self-sabotage then i feel like i understand you i really do because i'm going through the same thing myself so i hope that one day one day and soon we are able to grow out of it we're able to understand that we are doing just enough we're trying to navigate through life i need you to be consistent with what you're doing I need you to know that you are enough. I need you to know that you are doing just the right amount of things that you're supposed to be doing. Oh yeah, I started YouTube, which I'm really glad that I started. Now I just need to be consistent with it. It's how I dealt with depression, anxiety, grief, and all of that. I took reading my Bible seriously, especially 
when I am in need of hearing comforting words and I can't really reach out to people. I'm not really one that talk about my feelings like that. So when I feel like I've had it up to my neck, when I can't find people to talk to, or when I feel like they might be too busy for me to talk to them, I just go to my Bible. I have a Bible app on my phone. So I just go and read. I search for topics on what I'm feeling. If I'm feeling sad, then I read Bible verses on if you're feeling sad. So I found comfort in all of these things. I found comfort in knowing that everything in this life happens for a reason and that god cannot give you something that you cannot carry <laughs> that's one thing i learned so i feel like you should cultivate that into your own routine as well if you're dealing with things that you feel like is going to be the end of the world for you it's not the end of the world so anyways um general what is helping me push through all of this is the bible consistency hard work and knowing that i am doing just enough and you should also listen to podcasts podcasts help me a lot and i also have like a comfort cartoon that i watch i watch family guy when i feel i'm feeling so kind of weak so yes that is that i feel like i have come to the end of this particular video please please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on my post notification also so that you will be notified each time that i upload a new video so i hope to come back to this video sometime in the near future and see how much that i have grown and how much that I have evolved as a person and that is that so i'll see you on my next video until then bye